All right, this video goes with the first part of the IQ project. It is part two, making the quilt map. Now I have the instructions up on my regular computer screen and I have the IQ tablet set up next to my computer so I can follow along. So if I pause now and again, it's because I'm scrolling through my instructions to make sure I'm doing it exactly right. So, and I have my uh, mouse on so you can see the cursor there instead of having my hand going in front of the screen. I'll also tell you exactly what buttons I'm touching. Um, so here we are. Now, this first part is um, we are going to make a quilt. And usually when I start a quilt, I think about, okay, what's it going to look like? And then I have to decide uh, what blocks I need to create. Now, I need to create the blocks so I can put patterns in there. And the quilt map is simply uh, the whole quilt made out of the blocks. Uh, there would that we're going to put the patterns on later. In this installment, we're just going to make the complete quilt top for this project. So here I am at the main menu. I'm going to touch Design Sew Quilt, Start New, and I'm going to go over here to the bottom right where it says Add Block. Enter ma rectangle manually, width 10 inches, touch Enter, Height, I want to make that 10 inches. Enter, continue. Now here's my block, you can see it in red. I have the grid already turned on. The grid is green because I have the snap turned on. Um, if your grid isn't on, go ahead, turn it on and turn the snap on. This helps us position the blocks accurately. That's why we have it. Now my, my, um, my block is perfectly centered over the grid so I don't need to move it at all. If yours isn't centered, then go ahead and grab a reference point, move your block, and it will snap to a grid intersection. Just like that. Okay, finished. So that's one of the blocks, one of the 10 inch blocks. Finished. Add block, standard block, enter rectangle manually. This time we're going to do one of the sashing strips. Width 10 inches, enter. Height 2 inches, enter continue. IQ has stuck that new block right in the middle of my old one. I'm going to zoom way out so you can see. Okay. I need to move this, so I'm going to grab it and move it up to the top like that. Let's go zoom full. Ah. Okay. Finish. So now we're going to add a sashing block to this side. So I'm going to hit finished. Copy block. I'm going to copy this top sashing block, continue, rotation, and I'm going to change this until it says 90 degrees. And now I'm going to hit this arrow and it's turned my block. So I'm going to touch move and I'm going to move that block to the side. Okay, finished. All right, let me just scroll through my on my computer constructions. Good, okay, finished. So now we're going to add the cornerstone block here. So again, add edit block, add block, standard block, enter rectangle manually, width is going to be two inches, enter, height is going to be two inches, it's already there, so what I need to do is hit enter, continue. Now. I can't see the whole thing here, so I'm going to turn my zoom on, go to zoom full, turn zoom off, and then move that cornerstone up there. Okay, finished. Now we need to put all the other blocks in. Um, this quilt, of course, has got nine 10 inch blocks with all the sashing. So we have the first one here and the first pair of sashings and cornerstones. So at this point, I'm going to touch repeat blocks. Select the box, blocks to repeat by touching one of their points. I'm going to touch all the blocks. So they're all red. Continue. X repeats. And tap the plus sign twice. Y repeats. Touch the plus sign twice. And there I have the body of my quilt minus sashings on this side and at the bottom. So I'm going to hit finished right now. 
I'm going to do uh, repeat blocks again. I'm going to touch this top row, cornerstone, sashing, cornerstone, sashing, cornerstone, sashing. Let's make sure I'm doing this the right way for the instructions. <coughs> yes, okay. Continue. Okay, uh, why repeats? Because I want this to be repeated for the bottom. One. Now I have to place it at the bottom, so I'm going to change my Y distance to 36. And let's go zoom full so you can see the whole thing. See how it's put that one repeat at the bottom where I want it, which is good. So finished. Now we're going to do repeat blocks and touch all these blocks at the left hand side. Continue. X repeats. One. X distance. Make this right. <coughs> uh, Forty-three, I think it is. Let's see. Oh, too much. So let's go back. Of course, if I added up, it would be better, wouldn't it? Thirty-six is what it is. There we go. <laughs> um, I think on the screen just now I did it in the uh, opposite way. I did the, in the written instructions, I did this side first and then the top, but it really doesn't matter. Um, this will keep you on your toes. <laughs> All right, finished. So there's the body of the quilt. So now we're going to add the borders. So I'm going to go add block, standard block, enter rectangle manually. My width is going to be 36, no, 38. Enter. My height is going to be 5 inches. Enter. Continue. Okay, let's turn the grid off at this point because it's just making it very hard to see where we are. And I will go zoom full. Okay. And now I'm going to move, turn the zoom off, I'm going to move this border block up to the top. Let's go zoom full again. Okay, so there's the border block at the top. Finished. Okay, copy block. Copy that border block. Continue. I'm going to move it down to the bottom. Finished. Copy block. Continue. Rotate 90 degrees, move it. I'm grabbing the, the center reference point so it snaps to the center of the side, but you could grab a corner, uh, whatever reference point is handy. Finished. Copy block, copy this side block, continue, move it over to here. Okay, finished. So now I just have the cornerstones on the borders to do. And I'm not going to put a square in there. I'm going to put triangles in because the diagonal line of a triangle will help me place the pattern um, more accurately uh, when I get to that, um, when I get to putting the patterns in. So I am going to go finished. Uh, add block. Add block standard block and I'm going over here load block from load from block catalog I'm going to go to my geometric catalog and here's the triangle I want so I'm going to select that continue now as always let's go zoom full IQ has stuck the triangle right here in the middle that's not where I want it I'm going to move it up to this top corner now let me let me pan down now it's way too big of course, but I'm going to grab this right angle corner of the triangle and I'm going to snap it to that uh, corner of the side, uh, the border block. Now I'm going to hit stretch. It says touch the anchor point of the pattern, the one I do not want to move, and it's that one there. Now it says now touch another snap point of the pattern, so I'm going to go for this one here and I'm going to bring it across until it snaps 
there let's zoom right in so you can see that okay see how it snapped in see how it snaps there that's good that's what I want finished copy block copy the triangle continue flip X flip Y let's zoom in on that okay why did I flip Y and flip X that's the way the copy was I'm going to hit flip X flip Y now it's the correct way now I'm just going to move it until it snaps there okay finished um, repeat blocks because we want to put triangles here repeat blocks this one this one continue X repeats one X distance this is 43 I think let's see if I get it right yes I did but notice how the how the uh, diagonal line is going the wrong way so I'm going to hit finished here because I can't do anything about that on this page I'm going to hit finished I'm going to go modify block select the block to modify no nope. yes this one okay continue I'm going to rotate that 90 degrees. I'm going to hit select because I want to also modify this one. Continue and I'll rotate that 90 degrees also. Okay, finished. Now that's a little bit different from what I wrote so don't get confused. Uh, finished. Now I'm going to go repeat blocks. Repeat. I'm going to touch all the triangles. Continue, Y repeat, one, Y distance, 43, there, and I'm going to, you see that lines are going the wrong way, I want them to come this way, I'm just going to hit flip Y, and it's made them go the correct way, finished. So now our quilt map is complete, so at this point I'm going to hit finished, Save quilt pattern, save the quilt, I'm going to hit clear to get rid of this name, I am going to call it project, space one, enter, and I'm going to put it into a new catalogue, which is already highlighted, so I'm going to hit select, and I'm going to call that catalogue project. So now my quilt map is saved, ready for us to use in the next instalment when we add some patterns.